If you want to be transformed, if you want your life to be completely different, if you want to come to something and be forever changed, I am inviting you to come to a Power and Love School. These are the most transformational schools that I've ever been a part of. They have you apply everything that you're being taught. You will see miracles flow through your hands. You will hear words of knowledge. You will prophesy and you will see people come to salvation and come to Jesus in public, in restaurants, in grocery stores. We are not street evangelists. We are normal Christians that live a supernaturally normal Christian life. Come and be a part and be transformed. The most exciting school that I've ever been able to be a part of. If your ear just opened, I need to see your hand right now. Change in your ear, come on. Two, three. So if you have a vision problem at all, people around them, get around them, put your hands on their eyes. One, two, three. Say! She took her glasses off and she could completely see. If your scars are gone, wave your hands over your head. You're breathing different right now. Wave your hands over your head. Do you know how awesome this is? His kingdom come, His will be done on this earth the same as it is in heaven. Is there any sickness in heaven? No. Why? Because it's His will for there to be none there. So it's His will for it to be on this earth the same as it is in heaven. The Son of Man destroyed the works of the devil. How did he do it? Because God was in him and God dwelt with him. The same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, that did the miraculous through Jesus, now that same Holy Spirit is in and upon you. What are you going to do with him? You are heaven's answer to a world that doesn't know him. You need to be vocal about what you believe. You can't be silenced because a silent voice isn't a voice at all. My heart cry is to, to spark a fire inside of people's hearts so that they can rise up to be the Christian that God's called them to be and to be the confident one in the midst of silent Christianity to where no matter what, there's no way for you to remain silent because you have to be vocal, a vocal piece for the Lord.